Good morning. This is Pastor Preston Powell bringing you the word of the day, the golden nugget to help you to process your day. Can I ask you a question? Are you ready? Do you desire to be successful? If you responded with yes, then this message today is for you. Success, it is the achievement of something desired, planned, or attempted. In the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, I want to read these two chapters, one scripture per chapter to you. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe and do accordingly to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall deal wisely and have good success. That's the Amplified Version. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. In the book of Joshua chapter 1 itself, it's the chapter when Israel had received their new leader, which was Joshua. Joshua was the one that God made become Moses' success, successor, that he would take Israel into the promised land. But as many know, Israel was in Egypt for 400 years of slavery and bondage. And I'm quite sure all those years they was there, many died in that 400 years of process of being in bondage. And many had their eye on the desire to be successful because they saw success around them. They saw the Pharaoh, they saw the, 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 the Egyptian people living well. And though they were living well, and they wasn't living well, they had a desire to be successful. How were they going to be successful? In bondage. Well, God opened the door for them to come out of bondage, to prepare to go into the promised land that was going to flow with milk and honey. The place that they could live in a dwelling place and live successful for the rest of their life. But God had to tell them, in order for them to receive success, God started with Joshua. And he told Joshua, he says, this book of the law must not depart out of your mouth. You must meditate day and night upon it. And he must do what's written that in within it. Because if you have the word of God in your heart, then what's in your heart will come to what's outside of you. It determines your success. Because in order to be successful, you must have some directness. You have some, some understanding, some clarity of what success is. And success is within the word of God. And we see here, God says, once you obey my word, which is written within it, and follow the plan of it, he said, you will make your way prosperous. And in Jeremiah 29, 11, he confirmed it by saying, for I know the thoughts that I have toward you, to, to give you an expecting end, not to bring evil to you, but thoughts of peace. If you have been misunderstanding why success has not come your way, it's because you have not meditated day and night upon the word of God. And the word of God is your only way to achieve success. In fact, good success. Let me give you seven keys to unlocking success. Number one, have some tenacity about yourself. In other words, have some go get it mentality. Don't sit and wait for someone to bring something to you. You go get what you want, but get it within the time or reason. That's why he said in the book of Joshua that you be wisely. If you be wise on how to go about things, then you will have wise success on how to obtain them. Number two, have faith to move forward. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I don't have it, but I believe it's mine. And in verse 6 of the same chapter, it says, That without faith it is impossible to please him, who is God. For he that cometh to God must believe that God is who he is, and he will diligently reward them that seek him. Number three, Associate with people who dream big. I, I, I'm a firm believer. In order to be successful or have good success, you got to be in the company of those who have already been successful in whatever field that may be. Whatever your desire is in today's life, if you connect with the right people who dream big, mean they dream big and they live big, not what they have, but their mindset, their, their perception of being successful is based on how they dream big. They think of themselves of being successful. And number four, 
manage your thought process. Because if you don't control the way you think, then your thought process will cause you to live beneath your privileges. In fact, there's a subject matter I call Lola Bar. That means a place in the hole. If you're always thinking negative about yourself and what you are not and what you can't be, then success or good success can't be yours because you're thinking in the wrong vein. Number five, have a goal. What is a goal? That's a part of life where you set something in motion or you set something in stone what you want to achieve. Now, all goals are achievable. But the fact, the reason some goals don't become achievable because sometimes the goal we set are beyond where we are. Even though you may have a relationship with God, but if you go for something beyond where you are, it's only going to bring frustration. It's going to bring um, a bitterness and anger because you're trying to do something that you wasn't called to do. It was never meant to be yours. Number six, become creative. Create in your mind where you want to go, where you want to be, what you want to do. Because if you can dream it, if you can envision it, if you can imagine it, it can come to pass. And number seven, write out a plan of action. What do you have written? The Bible says, write the vision, make it plain. The others, when they see it and read it, as they run by it, they begin to announce what you've written. But if you don't write your vision, if you don't believe your own writing, why would I? But your writing would be in vain if your lifestyle does not line up with what God's word says. Yes, you can get success, but can you get good success? Good success is something that lasts forever. Success is something that can be here today and gone tomorrow. All good success is built and based upon obedience to the word of God. So my friend, if you want good success, if you want to unlock the lock of success for you, your family, then you must be obedient to the word of God. Can't do it your way. You must do it God's way. And doing God's way will bring his way. Jesus said, not my will, but that will be done. How do we do the will of God? By being obedient to what the word of God says to us. When God bless you, have a blessed day. And remember, as we said at the tabernacle, that the word is on. And remember, I love you.